happy guinea pig! Duh! Hi, I'm Alain and welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm going to be making something yummy. I'm going to be making an easy lemonade pie. And very simple ingredients. It calls for one container of frozen lemonade, one container of whipped topping, and one can of sweetened condensed milk. And you can use any brands you want to use. You can use name brand, you can use store brand, whatever. That's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what you have to use. It also calls for one 9-inch graham cracker crust. You can buy the already made crust, or you can make your own crust. Entirely up to you. I'm going to make my own because it's a little bit cheaper. I can buy a box of graham crackers for what it costs to buy one graham cracker crust, and I have graham crackers to eat, and I get to control what I put in it. So I have one package of graham crackers in my bowl here that I have pulverized. When I say pulverized, I mean I put them in a baggie and I beat them with snot with this right here until they were crushed. This is my... That thing's solid and old, folks. It is. And, and I heavy. Just, I bam, bam, bam it. She did a bam, bam. Yeah. Now, to that, I'm adding a fourth of a cup of sugar. You can use more or less depending on what you how sweet you want it. But the standard graham cracker crust recipe calls for about a fourth of a cup of sugar. Here I have a third of a cup of melted butter. And Piggy, if you'll hand me a fork, please. I knew I was going to forget to get something. I normally do this with my fingers, but that there's a little bit wet. And if y'all are wondering about how much a third of a cup of butter is, it is six tablespoons. And you'll see, I've incorporated that together and it kind of looks like clumpy sand. Which is what you want it to look like. Now I have my oven already preheated to 375 degrees. And I'm going to bake this for about 8 to 10 minutes. And what you do is you just put all of your graham cracker crust mixture in here. And you will take something, you can use your fingers, you can use a cup, you can use a measuring cup. And you just pat it down in here and get it packed. Kind of push the sides up, pack them in. And I'm just using a measuring cup. Like I said, you can use your fingers if you want. That's entirely up to you. I've been known to use my fingers to press them in. And this right here is probably what's going to take the longest of them waiting for it to freeze. You're going to need that uh, can open up. Not just yet. I'm going to have to let this right here, once it bakes, I'm going to have to let it cool. So it's cool completely. So it'll probably be about 30 minutes in between time. And there, there's another time thing. So, you know, that's one good thing about having an already made crust. Is you can go ahead and make everything up and get it going. Making your own crust. It may take a little bit longer, but... It's you know, what worth you, it. I, that, that's, I think it's worth it. And, you know, you just know that you're going to have to start a little bit earlier on making it. Okay, y'all. That's what my crust looks like. I'm going to give that return to the piggy. And I'm going to put this in my oven, like I said, for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay? And my timer is already sitting on 9 minutes, so that's where I'm going to leave it is at 9 minutes. And I'll be back when that timer goes off. There we are. All right, y'all. I'm taking this out of the oven. That's what that looks like. Oh, nice and gold brown looking. Yeah, you don't want it burnt, but that nice golden color. Yeah, and it's nice and soft there. Uh, I'm going to let this cool for a good 30 to 40 minutes before I actually make this up and pour it in there. 
because I don't want to put my glass baking dish in the freezer while it is hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside to let it cool. Put this back in the fridge for a little bit until I get ready to use it. And then once this is completely cooled off, I'll come back and we'll mix these up, pour them in there, pop them in the fridge, and eat them later. Sound good to me. Okay, y'all, we're back. Uh, the crust is cool completely. And uh, I did, forgot to put this on there a while ago. I have some cherry pie filling. It says you can use cherry pie filling, blueberry pie filling, or fresh fruit up to you to put on top of this once it's frozen. And I like all the above, but this is a favorite. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, you know, say about a whisk. I'm not using a mixer for this. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to mix up with the whisk. I've got my condensed milk going in here. And y'all, if y'all have ever worked with condensed milk, you know that in the bottom where it sits, it gets real thick. Y'all, that was that was a grippy old woman back there walking out. Her name's Lil Bit. Yeah, that's my grippy old woman. She's my half barrel kitty. Yeah, we know. Summertime, she's all but feral. Diggy, you go let her out the front door. Here she'll go. Here she'll go. Come on a little bit. Well, she's following me, y'all, so. The reason me and the back door is right behind me, and I don't feel like opening it right now, because if I do, I might get a hoard of kitties in on me, and I'd be upset. And I don't want to get upset with kitties. All right. Got as much of that out as I can get out. Okay. I've already opened this up. Uh, well, I've taken the little thingy off the side to open this, so now i got to figure out how to open this. Piggy's going to open that for me. And I've already broke the seal on this so I can open this. I'm glad that was you and not me. Folks, I think she cracked me. Piggy took a bath in lemonade. So, got the lemonade concentrate here. It said to thaw it, so it is thawed, y'all. Oh, yeah, it definitely thawed. Probably cold, too. It was. And I'm going to put the uh, whipped topping in here. Get all that out. They said use a large whipped topping. Didn't specify no size. I wouldn't get one of them great big ones because I don't think it would have fit in my pie shell if I did. So, right, if, it, if it doesn't fill it all the way up, next time we know we get more. I'll let you be nice to you. Oh, boy. I'll be nice to you, Piggy. Piggy, get the liggy, Get that little bit of whip topping off of that. And I'm just going to take mix this stuff right here together. Mike, behave. Ain't no shame in my game when it comes to whipped cream. And as you see, it's going together fairly easy. And I think I'll whisk better with my left hand sometimes than I do with my right hand, y'all. Yeah? My right arm's a little bit sore today. I don't talk about it much, but ever since when I had my pork put in from my cancer, for my chemo, it did good, but um, after having it in for about eight to nine months, I started having problems with my right shoulder and arm. She's afraid of messing that thing up, so she held herself in a protective manner. The thing's kind of locked up a bit. Yeah, my right shoulder froze up on me, and then I started having problems with my right arm right in here. And I still have problems with my arm on occasion. But you know what? I don't let it stop me. I keep going. I'm going to give that right there to the piggy. And I'm oh, going to get me boy. another scraper down, y'all. Oh. Take that towel right there. Right there up. That's tasty. So that's tasty, Piggy. Uh huh. We're gonna put this over here. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna pour this in this pie shell, y'all. It might not hold it all. 
Don't look like it. No, what? That's fine if it don't. Shoot, you might take make another small one. Now remember, you gotta leave room for them cherries. Well, cherries go on top of it after we cut it. Oh. After you cut it? After you cut it. It's got to freeze, and then you cut it, and then you put the cherries on it. Oh, okay. So that means you can just cover that sucker in cherries on top and on the side. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. And lemon and cherry go together really well, though. Um, Y'all, that looks like about all I'm going to put in there, so that right there means we get to eat that right there. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the freezer. I'm going to let it sit for... Probably two to three hours, maybe four. And then we'll come back and cut it. And if it's ready to come out and be eat, we'll just take it. If I could talk, y'all, we'll taste it then. But if it's not, we'll let it sit for about a good five, six hours. Then we'll. She's having one of those. Look at the moments. Yeah, because um, my mouth is watering, y'all. <laughs> so uh, we'll see y'all probably back in about uh, four to five hours. Uh huh. All right, we're back. Ty's got the freezer, and we know what that means. Yes, we do. It is time. Look to at that pretty thing. She's gonna cut that, put it on place. And well, I'm gonna try. She's gonna put some of that right there on top of it. Uh, them, them's, them's a. What kind of churches is those? Come with that sweet stuff with it. That's cherry pie filling. All cherry it pie filling. And uh, y'all know, Piggy's fixing to have a good time. We get this thing right here cut, y'all. The pie itself is easy enough to cut. It's that crust. Well, you know, frozen and all. Well, the pie is a little on the softer side. It's softer than I thought. Probably but needed to freeze a little longer. It probably needed to freeze a couple hours longer overnight. But you know what? It's been in there almost five hours. I'm saying it's time to eat. And of course, it may not come out just like I want it to, but. I don't care if it comes out in pieces and take, put it on the plate, throw them, some of them cherries on there, and we're good to go. Piggy, I think it may just come out in pieces, to be honest. We're going to have to get us a curb pie scooper duper. Yeah. Because this one right here just, I mean, it works, but there we go. We might be. Well, I don't think it's stuff. actually meant for going down into a dish like that. I think it's meant for a, a flat plate. I, I think it's more of a cake slicer and stuff. Yeah. Than it is a pie server. All right. And then with that being frozen on top of that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it out, y'all, one way or another. No, oh, I knocked something off down there. I was like, what in the world? It was a little box that was over here by my knee, and I kind of knocked it off. Okay. And she's working that leg over there trying to get some leverage. There that, we crust, go. that crust just did not want to give over, y'all. There's the crust for that other piece. Right there. I bet you the next ones will come out easier because I'll have leverage to scoop underneath them. Well, you'll have a space to work with. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to cut it and slide it over. I'm going to give you these one here to sit over there. Oh, I'll take around some off. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to just put my cherries on the side of mine and eat them that way because I will be able to taste that pie first. I got a feeling you'll be able to taste that to the cherries. And I'll put piggies on top of his. Oh, yeah. You know how I want mine. He wants his dripping down the sides, y'all. Oh, yeah. Now, piggy, I need a picture. You know I need a picture. Dang it. I was fixing to grab my fork. Where's my fork? Right here. I got your fork right here. I'm 
only one. Well, I'm trying to get it zoomed in just right. Ah. There we go. We got it. There's your fork. That's your treat. You get your fork. Oh, boy. I get a treat. I get a treat. All right. Now we're going to try this. We'll do this crust here. Oh, yeah. Then my boss just rolled back. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is so good, y'all. And I'm saying that is so good. Mmm. Believe it or not, the cherries kind of cut the sweetness of the pie. That's shocking. Because you have sweet cutting the sweet. I mean, some cherries aren't as sweet as the pie. Right. Mm. And you didn't really use that much sugar in this, did you? I made no sugar. It was just that sweet condensed milk on the lemonade. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever sugar was in the whipped topping, the sweet condensed milk, and the lemonade is all the sugar that's in there. Now, I did add a quarter of, uh, yeah, I think it was a quarter cup of sugar to the crust. I don't know, y'all. I keep just sitting here eating this thing. Hey, but it's good. Do I recommend this pie? Highly. Easy to make. 10 out of 10 on easy. Taste, 10 out of 10. So if you would like a nice, simple dessert, Rose, let me tell you, it won't take a very big piece of this for you to... Well, you'll notice there there's about the normal size of most pies, and I did that for me and Piggy Bow. Yeah, well, we probably could have done a half of one of these yeah. each. Now, I'm going to put this back in the freezer, and I'm going to let it sit there for the rest of the night. Freeze real good. And so it freeze really good, and then i got to figure out how to cut that crust, because that crust got hard. But, uh, we'll figure it out. But, yeah... Simple, easy, great tasting, 10 out of 10 on all. Great dessert for a get-together. So, uh, I highly recommend it. And uh, the, the cherry pie filling, amazing on it. I like blueberries and lemon together, so the blueberry would be really good with it, too. Being that it has to be frozen, might be, uh, if the crust had been thinner, <laughs> Yeah, like if you buy the pre-made crusts that are kind of thin, it would probably work better. Yeah, well, you know, we could probably get that thinner, but, you yeah. know. Yeah, I, oh, man, y'all, so good. Mmm. Got to do a little happy dance, y'all. Oh, wow. Well, I thank y'all very much for watching my video. Hope y'all have a great day. That's what I got left in mind so far. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Where's my phone?